my first find coming up to this spot. She's definitely uh, got weight to her. And it was a double funk and I pulled it up. Oh my lord. I got a tank. Oh, let me get that up and out of the water and I'll grab Lonnie's magnet. I'm using a broken tank right now. So let's get this tank up and out of the water. Sweet. And dual magnets up. Let's see if we can get her out of the water. Ooh, that's a long tank, too. Yeah, okay, I'm going to Yeah, let's get on the other side of the boat, please. That's helping. I'll find it again. Well, I have the boat, so I'm just throwing it up in that too. So. Some bags. Yeah. Hi. Well, I had a little something at home. Just some strawberries. We have Adam from Ferris Fishing over there, getting his dives set up. Got all his tanks and all that set up on the shore. He's gonna be diving this area here. We're gonna pull a couple of umbrellas out that are in the water he found. I'm magnet fishing right here as I'm waiting for him. Miss Alani and I are on the boat. It is a really foggy day. A lot of the fog's cleared up now compared to what it was earlier when we got down here. But we are doing the Grand River cleanup event i'll put a link in the description to the event we're doing but we're going to be cleaning up the water as everybody else is cleaning up the banks we uh left them they got a speech going on i don't want, didn't want the boat making a bunch of noise so we got out of there before the speech started ah i'm upside down feels like i'm dragging something in it's definitely way heavier than she's been this is going to be the first heavy pull here and we got ourselves a window way look at that i love these things why i use these for magnet recoveries when people lose their magnet because they forget loctite or they've snagged something and their magnet rope broke and they shot the magnet somewhere these work awesome for magnet recovery because they're so thick so heavy you apply the rope through the eyelet right there and you throw them out and get your magnet back i don't know if you guys can see it fog starting to lift top of that building still gone now at least it's getting clearer. A little pull coming in. It kind of feels like I got some weight. Oh, I do got something here. Get the mud washed off of it and see what it is. We have ourselves some kind of metal disc. That's all it is. Want a cookie? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I have something on here or not. She feels a little heavy. It did pull the bolt. Oh, we do got something on there. We do. What do we have? We have a knitted hat i wonder whose hat this is anything in it feels like a bunch of mud very very mud yeah we got ourselves a hat out of the water someone's knitted hat off the hook in a bucket it goes another pull coming in and we have ourselves something on there I have a light bulb right there. Someone decided to throw their light bulb in the water after changing it. In the bucket it goes. We have a part of a can. And some kind of metal bracket. Heavy. She's been trying to drag it around. What'd you get? Oh my god, look at that. She got herself a padlock. My second one ever. Or first a magnet one. full of other stuff on there. A master lock? Yeah. Sweet. There's a chance of a beer can lid, maybe. Right there. Good job. Feels like I have something coming in. 
get it up here, see what we got. We have some seaweed. Always gotta love a seaweed monster. Ooh, there we go. That looks like another a magnet on a magnet again. Maybe. I always it's a uh, muffler weight. Oh, I'm out here sucking. Oh yeah, it's a muffler weight. That's where the rubber mount would be at. Right there. Right in the bucket. Got some rusty bits and pieces. Got something heavy coming in here. Let's get this up. Got a lot of seaweed, but we got a bunch of metal on there too. Get the seaweed off. More seaweed off. We have whatever that thing is with some plastic on it. Almost looks like a clutch fork. We have a bigger metal disc this time than the last one we found. It's about twice the size. And a bunch of rusty bits and pieces. Here we have ourselves something rectangle this time instead of round. We got two rectangle plates. One right there. Up the bucket it goes. Another one right there. Bonnie's pulling up the whole pull here. Did you get on there? Oh my god, look at that. She, that's her second lock. That's her second lock or whatever that thing is. That's her second padlock of the day. I haven't found one lock yet. She's found two. Oh, this one go clunk as I was pulling the rope up. What do we have here? We have ourselves some giant bolt right there. Oh my God. Lonnie just pulled something in. What is that? Phone charger part. Oh, phone charger part. <laughs> Lonnie got a little piece of phone charger in there. <laughs> and we have ourselves, ooh, it looks like a knife. Is it a knife? Nope, it's a file. We got a tool. Right there, file. Oh, there it goes. Rusty bits. We got a little bit of weight here, and we have ourselves another round thing. That one looks like a center cap. Got a couple holes in it. That's what it looks like. I think Alani, oh, nope, she's not stuck. Seaweed off my magnet. I thought it was all seaweed. I actually got some kind of cloth in there. A fishing line with a treble hook right there on this rubber ring. Some kind of gasket, maybe. Got a sock. And it's part of a trouble hook. Get the rest of the seaweed off. Fishies. There we go. Made it in. She got a railroad spike. It's sticking straight up along with a clamshell pinched in there. A pull coming in here. It looks like we got a bunch of rusty bones. Oh, look at there. We got a little fishy fishy. Rubber fishy. Rubber fishy. Jiggle, jiggle. Rubber fishy. <laughs> so Watch the hook. Adam found an umbrella along with his table. He's pulling that up and out of the water. I'm on my way over there so we can throw it in the boat. Slowly. A lot of stuff there. She's finding all the good stuff today. I keep on finding all the small stuff. <laughs> yeah. Good job, baby. Um, you get the salt. Feels like I hooked something big and heavy here. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to pull it in or not. But I definitely felt it hit. The magnet, and she's coming up. She's big. We got ourselves, it looks like. Part of the table. You know? Stand of some sort. Sorry about the crack sacks. Well, that's a big old heavy stand right here, whatever this is. Let's get it up out of the water. There she be. It's an umbrella stand, probably. I found your umbrella stand. I found your umbrella stand. Oh, did you? Yep. Umbrella stand? Yeah. Oh, nice. It's a big metal point, adjustable, with the umbrella slides in. We got all kinds of stuff on this puppy this time. We have some kind of round disc with a hole in the middle of it. Hey, you can put that in Zan's hat. <laughs> we oh, got a big old thing. nut right there. Put that in his We have whatever that rusty chunk is. That goes in there. Some kind of triangle metal. And a bunch of rusty bits and pieces. Could be Titanic up here. She's leaning off the front of the boat. She's slapping her wings. What do you have? Holy cow, that's an old barrel lid. It's hissing. Yep, it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow, it's hissing. I'm joking. My first find coming up at this spot. She's definitely uh, got weight to her. And it was a double funk as I pulled it up. Oh my Lord, I got a tank. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get that up and out of the water. I'm going to have to grab Lonnie's magnet. I'm using the broken tight right now. 
So let's get this tank up and out of the water. Sweet. Let me see your magnet, buddy. Yeah. Just hand me the rope. Watch your legs, don't hurt yourself. Let me see your magnet. Thank you. Okay, dual magnets on it now. Let's see if we can get her out of the water. Ooh, that's a long tank, too. Yeah, let's get on the other side of the boat, please. I'm trying to pull over. I'm on my 80. That's helping. Holy cow! My shoes are about like a pound. Nikes! That hurt. I hurt my leg on the seat. Oh, well, I'll find it again. I'll find that tank again. Line and I got stuck together. And we got this big old metal thing. It's Whatever that is, the line is fine. It's on her magnet. I think it's mine. Maybe. I don't know if it's going to stay on. Nope, I got a tree. <laughs> and I got to play your old pipe. I know that might be a. Put something has threads on it. Threads on both ends. So I don't know what that is. Kind of looks like rebar, but not rebar. And we have ourselves another pipe at this spot. Nice long pipe. We'll go over there with the rest of them. Little bits and pieces. Going in a big old piece of rebar. Look at that. Someone's undies on the bottom of it. No, that's a bag. Oh, okay, that's a bag. Yeah, we can put it in the boat. Don't worry about it. Got Keep pulling. It's gonna come off. What? It's gonna come off any moment now. Literally, my magnet is barely even hanging on it. Well, bring it back this way. And we have ourselves some steel cable. Ask me what's on the other end of it. There's a big old hook right there. So we're gonna keep pulling this up. Nope, brought some cable. Let's get that out of the water. Over here. Along with the rest of the big stuff. Boat's filling up fast. Here. Let's see what we got on here this time. And we have lots of stuff. Looks like an old watering can here. Let's get that off before it falls. Sweet. Look at that old can. That's an oldie. Look at that puppy. Sweet. And I got some kind of screw in the other here we got what's left of a bucket oh, watch yourself right there Alani right there bunch of rusty bits on there still I got something. I got something hopefully it's that tank again okay there's my uh, old old watering can. watering can there's a bunch of clams in it that's a live clam right there. I think that's the first live clam I've ever pulled out of magnet fishing. Oop, I'm losing it. She's falling apart. <laughs> Get a bunch of that mud out of there. Okay. And on top of my uh, go to the clammy clam. <laughs> there, she's struggling. struggling. Then get it up here. What is it? Oh, I got the tank. You got the tank? Yes. Okay, we got the tank again. <laughs> Lonnie found it. We'll get onto it. Stay tuned. Well, Lonnie says she found the tank. I got the brand new Titan that I just received from Mr. Kratos. After breaking my other Titan, we worked out a nice little deal on it. And here we come with that tank. Lonnie got the top of it. Inside. Hopefully the Titan's strong enough to get this out of the water. Surprise, I'm screwed. I got the hook in her. Oh, you moved in the front already. Whew, that puppy's heavy. I don't know if I can get this up on my own. Might have to uh, have Adam give me a hand getting it in the boat.
That's fine, that works. Heavy bucket. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy cow, this puppy's heavy. Yes, you do. Woo! We got her in. Not all the way. Nope, not all the way yet. We have to move some ropes out of the way so we don't crush the ropes. It's about to crush your tire. Woo! There we go. We got her in. Just got to slide her up. I'm scared for the thunk. I think I'm breaking my uh yeah I did I broke my cup holder. That's what the crack noise was. Whew. There we go. Got that tank out of the water. Sweet. Time to move it. Well, we got it back in the boat. Got it all secured down. The Titan's actually underneath it, so it can't roll. Got a bunch of stuff on that side, so it can't roll that way. So it's secured in the boat now. We have to find a way to get that puppy out of here once we uh, get home. It is heavy. It's heavy. Just hit the bottom of the boat. Oh my lord, that is a pry bar. Okay, I like finding these. These are nice. Heavy duty pry bar. A lot of times they were used in the lumberjack days and over the railroad. But this one's not bent. The last two of them we found were bent. This one's straight, so it must have fell in when they were using it. Sweet! I'll uh, clean this puppy right up. On something it started coming up then it just stopped came off again i'm thinking it stuck on something down there did i get pulled up so far and then it pops off because it's stuck to something all the stuff we found that big old tank that, uh umbrella stand the old can a bunch of pipes we got about two buckets full of scrap metal and garbage all in there sweet oh diver down you can see Adam, maybe. I can see him. I don't know if the GoPro's picking him up or not. But there's all the stuff he found right there. There he is. We're out. <laughs> Dragging the chair with me. There's Adam from Ferris Fishing. All his finds there as he's diving under the water. Finding it all. Yeah? Sam found one. Yeah, he did. Next up, we have this wonderful rain barrel that I constructed yesterday. This is 30 gallons. You can uh, divert rain from your rooftop and you can use it for anything you might use your house for. Shark! Alright, we have 959900. Thank you so much. I'd love to see a completed picture of when you install this in your house. If you can't take it home today, all the can pick it up from our office. I, I lost all the but uh, if you want to get your information to Shara over here, uh, we can get you out of your window. 959994. Ask your digits are 994. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> that will look fantastic in your office. All right, and then we have our final drip uh, giveaway here. Is there a large or anything? So we have. Nine five nine eight six nope. nine. The last three. Was that you? Six, there we go. Nine. You got it. Congratulations! You won our larger piece called autumnal seat. 